good morning well it's actually afternoon now um but today we are doing a date night vlog well really it's spend the day with me me and rob are going on a little date night which is really essential for us like i don't know about y'all but like date nights are a must because even though you know people like to say well y'all live together it's like even though we live together we still both have full-time jobs okay and you know we be busy so it's important to like carve out time um for each other but already i checked my email and had some bad news but i'll get to that later on in the vlog okay but first before we get into that let's get into today's paid promotion partner which is dossier so dossier is a fragrance brand and they have alternative fragrances for like the more high-end luxury expensive um brands and they have clean ingredients is cruelty free and their mission like on their website it says that they want to provide that premium fragrance to like basically your everyday type of person who don't want to pay all that money for you know the more high-end brands and so they sent me over two fragrances and the first one is oriental cherry girl I love this. This one is inspired by um, Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. They also let you know about like the notes and all of that stuff that's in the fragrances because I don't know about you, but I don't really know much about the makeup of fragrances. I just know when something smells good, I love it. Or if something doesn't smell good to me, I don't like it. They put like a card inside of the box with the notes, but they also put it on the label on the bottle the second fragrance that i got was spicy orchid and listen let me just tell you too about the bottles and just like how high quality they are now let's get into the scents and like let me tell you a little bit of what i think about each scent so spicy orchid at first when i sprayed spicy orchid on me it smelled like because it's very it smelled very spicy at first um and i was like hmm but once it dried down oh my goodness it was so good i smelled more of like the vanilla because it says that it has cinnamon pink pepper mandarin um and the base notes have sandalwood vanilla and so that's when i really started to smell the vanilla once it dried down it was so good and i even asked my husband because i'm like i wanted to know what did he smell from it and he said vanilla too and then i let him smell it too when i initially sprayed it and he was like oh yeah i could smell like more of the spice initially so it is very luring like it smells really really good and i don't have any fragrance like this in my collection so love that for me oriental cherry miss ma'am can we talk like this is the bee's knees okay as i said this one is inspired by tom ford's lost cherry and if i didn't say the spicy orchid is inspired by tom ford's black orchid oriental cherry it smells so good and again i don't have a fragrance like this in my collection either and like I said, I'm not the best at like describing the contents of the fragrance, but I just know it smells so good. It smells so sexy. It smells so grown. This one is my favorite of the two. Like I am obsessed with this one. Let me just tell you too about the wear time. So both of these kind of wore for about like the same time frame. Um, and that was about like seven to eight hours on me anyway. We'll leave all of the links down in the description box for you to check them out if you're interested. Once again, thanks to Dossier for sending me over these fragrances and collaborating with me on today's vlog. But now let me tell you what had happened was. So when I woke up, I checked my email and what do I get in my email? I get a cancellation email from the restaurant that we made reservations to, which was Delta's. And we've been to Delta's many times and we've never had this issue. So I don't know what's going on. I'm going to call in a second to see um, because they don't open until 2. But when my husband just came back, he can't, he said we could go to Outback if like, you know, we can't 
get our reservation or whatever the case may be because Outback is another one of our like cute little chill spots that we go to um to get some food and drinks and just like talk and spend time together i really did want to go to delta's because the macaroni and cheese was calling me okay but um i don't know if that's gonna happen I'm actually about to start getting ready i don't even think i'm going to vlog that because what's the point like you know i will check y'all later Don't mind the messy table, but I feel like my little flowers look really pretty. Like I said, disregard the messy table, but the flowers look really pretty. I am in the process of filming a video on this little slick back bun. Like, you know, just real quick. One time for the one time. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to use my other listening because this one is like sitting too low this is from amazon by the way like i love this and my little tripod that i'm always vlogging on like they come in so handy but i really love this one because it folds up so nice and so compact but i think i'm gonna put my camera on this one because um it's not like at the angle that i need it to be okay so i'm gonna keep it on this one because i feel like it gets like high i could bring it high up whereas like the little one is good for like vlogging because i could hold it and sit it down places that like could get like a close view this was like 15 dollars too so i'll leave this link to, to if y'all interested time to put on this is my first time actually spraying the bottle um because i've been using a sample but oh my god i just love this I'm trying to post on Instagram more. You should go follow me on Instagram if you not already. I put on a lot of perfume. I love the way this clothes still look. It's like magnetic. But yeah, I'm trying to like post more on Instagram and stuff like that. I need to put my rings on. I put the rings on. I'm only going to do these two for today because like I'm not really trying to like do too much. Um, And I got my little like beautiful dainty bracelet oh i just love this um but yeah this is from the the jewelry is from the Lux collection these though are from forever 21 but the rings the bracelet from the Lux collection i actually think i'm gonna put on my pinky ring today might be is it a day for the pinky ring it might be it might be a day for the pinky ring it's four o'clock what the heck where did the time go? Okay, so I need to put my shoes on. Um, because I just want to get a cute little picture in this look real quick. Oh, I actually gotta close out that other video too. Oh crap. Can I do that right here? I think I can. Let me like intro and outro that video really quickly. Oh, I forgot to say too, I had called the restaurant, but I didn't get no answer. Um, and then I checked instagram and they are closed still from um the hurricane ida so that sucks um hopefully you know all is well over there but um they are closed so we are gonna just have to find another spot I need to take these pictures so let's go do that smells like that oriental cherry these shoes are so cute from forever 21 
and I love them and I walked in and I almost passed out because you know how it is when you go inside of like the forever 21 store it's really hard to find like shoes in your size and stuff but they had these in my size and they are so cute and aside from them being like super cute they are so comfortable like no issues will be had tonight that's why i'm deciding to like wear this as like my actual outfit i also got this bag from forever 21 and i kind of want to cut this part off because i don't want the long strap but let me see because it might be cute let me see if it's giving what it's supposed to have been. And for good measure, I'm going to throw the sample in my bag just in case. You know what I'm saying? Oh, can't forget the bowl. I'm packing up my hookah because I am also going to... My sister's having like a little seafood night tonight at my mother's house. So, so, I'm glad I just remembered that she would have been mad at me. I should have bring my other hookah too because... It might be a lot of people there, but she got a hookah, I got a hookah, my cousin bringing a hookah. That should be enough hookahs, because I really don't feel like packing up that other hookah. Hopefully, he got some lotion in the car, because the cracks on my fingers is a little ash. But look at these shoes. So cute. Outback. Rob just went in to see like if it's a weight or if we good. Like Megan is kind of like you know where else was we gonna go? Like everywhere you need a reservation. So hey y'all. So let me tell you what had happened was. Yesterday, that last clip that you saw of me, uh, I think I was getting, like, clips of, like, the drinks. Um, my phone died. And then when, after that, I went to my mother's house, because, like, I told y'all, my sister was having, like, a little seafood thing at my mother's house. So I went over there. I had put my phone on the charger upstairs, and I went downstairs, like, to the festivities. And, um... By the time my phone had, like, charged up and stuff, it was literally, like, nighttime. It was dark outside. We was, like, drinking, smoking hookah, playing games. It was loud. It was music. So, it was, like, you know, ain't no use in me, like, trying to vlog because it was just too loud. But I'm about to go to McDonald's and get me something to eat. And then I'm literally going to come back home and go to sleep <laughs> because I'm tired. Like, I didn't get no sleep really um my my add kicking in what, what was i saying um oh yeah i didn't really get like much sleep um so yeah i'm feeling real tired i don't feel hungover or anything um which is great just feeling like real sleepy um so i'm about to get something to eat and go back in the house and go to sleep and then i gotta get up and go like sundays i usually like the later half of the day i'm like taking care of my grandmother so i have to get up and go over there and i gotta edit too so i'm gonna try to like edit while i'm over there it's so sad to see like so many people just high out their mind like oh my goodness also too my nail broke even more yesterday so i just cut it off and i burnt my other nail over here and these is my real nails as y'all know like this is just like i literally burnt my nail um with like one of the coals from the hookah but yeah like it's just so sad to be driving around and you see just so many fiends like it's just really sad it's just like little observations that i'll be making like when you live somewhere where it's like a lot of just poverty everywhere like it's really sad to see and people always like to make it seem like people be selling out if they grew up in a in a neighborhood like in a in a hood 
where it's like extreme poverty and all of that stuff you want to make it seem like they sold out because they moved away or they like better themselves and left and never came back but it's like to see stuff like this regularly can like do something to your mental like you know what i'm saying just like seeing so many people down and out all the time especially when you grew up in it it's like you don't want like you don't want to see that that's why like people love to watch like hood movies or movies about like people selling drugs and all of that stuff and it's like not me i grew up in the hood i'm talking the real hood like for real so i don't want to watch movies about the hood i know what goes on in the hood i lived in the hood like so i know what goes on in the hood i don't want to watch movies movies about the hood i don't want to watch movies about people selling drugs i already know how that goes i don't want to watch i want to watch happy stuff i want to watch people making it and living large and being successful and falling in love and i like to watch stuff like that okay girl why you let me drive down here and you knew they don't serve breakfast all day at mcdonald's no more dang they don't serve breakfast all day at mcdonald's no more and I know, like, they wasn't going to have a full breakfast menu, but I thought they was going to have, like, before the, the uh, what's that called? It's not a McFlurry. A McGriddle. That was on the menu, but, like, they don't have no breakfast. <laughs> they don't have no breakfast. But I'm so hungry right now, I'll eat anything. But I was really anticipating the sweet bites of the McGriddle. People getting hostile in the drive thru, huh? Calm down, my G. You'll get your burger, all right? Relax. Anyways, y'all, I did not mean to just come on here and just ramble, ramble, ramble. But look, I'm going to probably close out the vlog here because it really ain't nothing else going on today that, you know, I would be vlogging. Um, you know, a little mishap. It didn't turn out the way I had anticipated as far as the date night and my phone dying, but you know, it is what it is. So yeah, I'm about to pay for my food, get my food, go in the house, eat and take a nap. I'm so, I wanted a McGriddle. Oh, I hate that for me. Now I don't got to eat French fries. Like I didn't want that. I wanted a McGriddle and some orange juice. I should have just went to IHOP and got me some IHOP. But I didn't want all that. And I don't want to get out the car. Okay, you know what? For real this time, closing out the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. All of that good stuff. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.